Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today you're gonna get a rant because I'm pretty pissed I was supposed to be recording this yesterday but I was too pissed to really get to it and it's all about service and it's service on enterprise equipment and it's not IBM service I love IBM service it's gonna be Hewlett Packard Enterprise service that I'm pissed about at the moment so you're gonna get that rent where I work we buy all of our servers with service because it's important for them to be working so we buy them with service and well over the years we have learned that there is no reason to buy the really expensive service like two hours response time or four hours response time because they're not gonna be able to fix anything in two or four hours anyway so we even high-end equipment we buy with next business day and we do this because we also make sure that the equipment is redundant so if something fails something else will be bought or we will have bought already for it to take over this summer we bought a new blade center setup this is some it's it cost almost two million dollars for 10 blade centers with 140 blade servers in them and very high-end uh, equipment the latest cpus and 786 768 gigabytes of memory in each of them so very big setup and um, well hp delivered and they were the equipment was perfect when it arrived we didn't have one single server that had any faults in any way so that was really awesome that's really i don't think i've ever seen that before um, that many servers and not one error it just ran uh, no problem whatsoever shortly thereafter it was discovered that the version 4 of the cpu had a error and it would crash in vmware so um, within some time so there was a new microcode update and we installed that and uh, that stopped some crashing of servers and everything was good again that was actually intel's fault so no problem there and then um, i think about 14 days ago we had a server that we had two blade servers that uh, started acting up on us one of them just stopped working and wouldn't boot so that was pretty easy we could i could make a case to hp and tell them that this one was totally dead and yes they did want me to to send them a report and i said that the server was dead and they let me go with that i actually reported that through a a third party company that we do our most of our shopping and dealing with and they sent um, a technician and he changed that out the other one was a little bit special because that server it was running but as soon as we loaded a bunch of uh, virtual machines on it uh, these servers are used for Citrix uh, so they run like 10 11 Citrix servers on them and when this server was loaded with Citrix servers it would crash it would take like five minutes you would load all the Citrix servers and they would be on and within five minutes all of them would have crashed so something was wrong we have 140 of these servers running and this one crashes all the virtual machines so I made a case uh, at our local vendor vendor hardware pusher yeah and they told me that I should firmware update the system to the latest firmware because there was new firmware available and I was pissed about that um, you know 140 servers working this one not working and them telling me that I had to firmware update that one um, because that might fix the problem that means that I have 139 servers working on one firmware and I have this one on a different firmware level that sucks already but okay we'll try that so we um, downloaded the firmware from HP they they were nice enough to send us a link that we could download this firmware 
and it well it was a rather big file 6.5 gigabytes we had to download and um, it was it was slow as hell we have a really good internet connection at work gigabit connection at least but it took 10 hours to download that file so 10 hours wasted just downloading a bloody file but we firmware upgraded the blade server and we checked it again um, it's not like we're sitting on our hands just waiting for equipment to fail so we were busy so this took us a couple of days to get this done and test it out and then um, when we found out that this didn't help any I was actually pretty pissed at the Avenger, the company where we bought these so I thought to myself I'm gonna open a case uh, at HP instead they might be more professional so I did I went into their homepage and I found where I could actually open a support case on the server and I could punch in the serial number and addresses and all the stuff and um, the error report I had the case here and I reported this um, last Tuesday Monday Tuesday Tuesday yeah I reported this on the 22nd of November um, at 3:42 p.m. That's actually UK time. Uh, it was 4:42 uh, p.m. my time. So we are an hour ahead of London and the UK. And I did an error report, and I reported that well, this server was broken and it wouldn't um, keep the VMware up, and we had. 140 machines like this and this one was crashing them all so okay a day later on the 23 of November HP came back to me they phoned me I was off work at the time because this was um, well it was actually 23 hours and about 40 minutes later they phoned me and I was um, on my way I was at location to start go running I do actually exercise it might not look like it but I do and he wanted me to to um, to send in error reports HP has uh, options for you can go in and, and get data out of them and he wanted that and um, well I kind of told him that they would be really welcome to do all the testing that's what they wanted me to do they wanted me to test some things for them and I told him that he would be very welcome to do all the tests he wanted when we had a working server so he could get the old one and they could do all the testing they wanted we just wanted this problem fixed well he got very unfriendly after that it's like I have a broken server I don't give a shit what's wrong with it I just want a new one I just want this up and running These servers are four months old I don't see the problem all these servers has been bought with next business day service and this was the next business day so uh, their service was calling me to ask me to do all their work for them and I got really pissed um, plus I was in my running shoes he said that he would get back to me and uh, the next day at work I was really pissed so I went in and opened the case and I could see in the case that well, he has very rudely, but in a very professional way, written in the case that I was an asshole, more or less, just uh, not very um, forthcoming and so. But so I went into the case and I, I wrote on that case too. I don't think very many people do this because uh, when he saw that I had been writing in the case, he, uh, <laughs> well, he, he got busy writing more stuff in the case, like customer refuses gathering locks. Morden agrees that service well I did say that they could send a technician out and and collect all the data they wanted so they he wrote that too and then he called me later that day and told me that now we are at Thursday that um, he could send a technician out Monday like next Monday I'm filming this Saturday so I could get a technician Monday and <laughs> that didn't get me less pissed so at that time I contacted the, the sales rep here in Denmark, the key account manager from HP. Um, I just wrote him a very short mail that this case and the case number and this case was going like shit. 
and then stuff happened then I was called up from the UK by a much more forthcoming uh, lady that told me that there would be a technician coming later that day this was yesterday I had the server fixed yesterday but it was fixed like I had to stay late at work and yesterday I was I had to meet in at work early I started at 6 o'clock in the morning to uh, to open up a data center for technicians to come in and upgrade another server and uh, I had to stay late to um, to have this blade server fixed and uh, well I was pissed like hell that's why I don't like HP servers that much the hardware is okay when it's working it's great but I haven't had very good experience with their service where every time I have an IBM server or Lenovo server it's it's managed by IBM and IBM has they have a I go into a home page and I enter what's wrong with it and they fix it it's like an hour and I'll have someone in the phone asking me when it will be um, appropriate for me for them to come and look at this and I think that is really awesome I like that and if it's like a disc um, they will just send me a disc and I have like 10 days to exchange that disc and send the old disc back to them I enjoy that it's cool so in many regards it's really it's not worth it to have service on your servers in many 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 cases like the server equipment that we have at work I don't think it's it's not good to have service on that if we could just get the the bloody uh, firmware updates for it it would be okay I don't think next business day service would even be worth it if if I could cancel that and just I could probably buy 10 more servers for that amount maybe not the RAM and the processors for it but I could have 10 servers on the standby just system boards and the metal and stuff just put in memory and RAM and good to go in many many cases self-service would be cheaper and faster and better so um, I'm just gonna kill this rant right now I think I pushed out but um, do leave your bad experience in the comments below I know that it's different around the world I have had people that tells me that their IBM services sucks and there is probably people out there that has really good experience with both HP enterprise and I don't have much experience with Dell really we don't we don't use that that much we kind of like Dell has the server thing that you can buy 10 servers at Dell and you'll have five that is configured equal and you'll have five others that are configured the same way and they might have put in different network cards or what they had on the shell so it's kind of they don't they don't have the strong standards as uh, IBM Lenovo and Hewlett Packard as well if you if you buy a server from IBM or oh the the Hewlett Packard is just down here you can't see it but if you buy a server from them you will be sure that they have the the right network card and the biases and all the stuff is you can you can buy a hundred servers and they will be the same servers except when they ask you to upgrade the firmware on one of them out of 140 so um, well that's my rant go tell me in the comments how your experience is with with service on servers and how they should improve it so thank you very much for watching me ranting and being mad about this wasting my week on this BS thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye Thank you.